Here's an Outer Limits 50, formerly owned by club member Mark Stoddart, on display by Extreme Power Boats. And as the evening carries on now, we're moving towards the happy hour time of the day. And as the sun goes down, now the vibe of the Poker Run Village is certainly going to change as we get into more of a structured evening where we provide our sponsors with the Sponsor Appreciation Night. A little bit of fun on the radio with our buddy Bill Hobie on uh, Keys Media, which is, uh, you know, Whale 99 and Sun 103. We had Mark Fisher, our sponsor from Boats Direct USA and Off Lease Only as a guest. And we had a lot of fun uh, chatting it up on the radio. Say hi to the girls from Powerboat Nation. They're always here putting on a nice big smile and giving us the eye candy that we just love here in Key West. Of course, the girls of FPC here to present our sponsors tonight with Sponsor Appreciation Awards. So you can see that the traffic is starting to build and people are coming out of their nooks and crannies and hotels and wandering in off Duval Street. And you know there's going to be a big show here at the Sponsor Dock because those ocean LED underwater lights go on, the Sponsor Awards come out, and there they are. The girls of FPC in their sexy sailor outfits, courtesy of my wife, Jackie Jones. She puts these great outfits together. There's Courtney. She's anxious to give away her first award. We really do appreciate all of the support we get from our sponsors, and this is the one evening where we can really show that appreciation with a special plaque to take home. And, of course, later in the evening, we'll take the girls and we'll go for a little walk around the village, and we'll visit all of the sponsor displays and make sure they get some great pictures with our ladies. Walking on our little made-up runway can be a little exciting and somewhat contagious because we even had a few spectators that said, hey, I want my 15 seconds of fame. And I had no objection to this lovely lady joining me on stage. We kick things off with an award for Terry Sobo and Tron Scow from Nortec High Performance in North Fort Myers. They're veterans on this run after probably 15 or more years. Receiving the Sponsor Appreciation Award for Mercury Racing was Steve Miller. More recently, he's joined the team there and joining us now for his first Key West run. And here's one of our newest sponsors. This is Sven Tober from Fastlane Travel. Sven organized our European Poker Run Tour, which took 12 couples across the European countryside in the spring in brand new Porsches. And here's Eric Glazer from Midnight Express. We saw Eric earlier in the show. They brought this brand new 43 Midnight Express with the four seven Marines, building a fantastic center console right here in South Florida. Morning, feeling like P. Diddy. Hey, what up, girl? My glasses, I'm out the One of David TV's crew members accepted on behalf of Spec Ops or Superior Communications. They've been a great supporter of this event year after year, giving us fantastic prizes, including Garmin chart plotters and ICOM handheld radios. High performance engine builder Tommy Hofstetter from Chief Performance is back again after many, many years of attending this Key West Poker Run Village. We also caught up with Larry Goldman from Extreme Power Boats. He's been a big part of the poker run scene for many, many years, dating right back to the start of the club back in the early 90s. In addition to selling and servicing high-performance boats, Larry does get a little bit of time behind the wheel in a race boat. Carrie Japani from Total Dollar Insurance accepted her award from Courtney. And here's Casey Hoy from Active Thunder in Pompano Beach doing something that his dad, Pat, would never do. Stand up, get up on the stage, and take a picture with our lovely FPC girls. And of course, we always like to thank our venue host, the Conk Republic Seafood Company. Here's General Manager Mickey Perez accepting our Sponsor Appreciation Award. And although we weren't ready to do all of the People's Choice Awards yet, that's not until Saturday night, Bob Berg and the girls of Team Artemis, or in this case, the program, which is his 97-foot Hargrave yacht, 
Bob does deserve credit for winning consistently the Sexiest Crew Award for every poker run he attended in 2015. I also got a chance to introduce our co-host, Samantha Langdale from Key West, who is responsible for getting us all these pretty ladies here in Key West every year. Of course, we bring Courtney and Louisa and some of the girls along, but Samantha has always done a great job of finding some beautiful ladies to join us here in Key West, and they always do such a great job. Now, for those sponsors who didn't make it up to our stage to accept their award, we have sent the girls now into the Poker Run Village, and we're going to go find those sponsors in their booths because there's still a lot of action here in the village, and I guess they just didn't want to leave their post. But we're going to come and find you, and we're going to get these pictures and videos, so stay tuned. We've got more Sponsor Appreciation Awards as we go forward into the evening. Now, one of our members was actually hard to find. We found out later that he was in the restaurant hosting a large dinner of about 25 people. There's David TV from Team Spec Ops, uh, Superior Communication, and there's his big dinner party. He was very happy that the girls found him and dropped off his personal award with a hug and a kiss. We also stopped by and we visited with Mark Wilson at Wilson Custom Marine. He is the absolute undisputed expert of making your boat go fast. Here's Scott Price and his partner Mike at Hard Marine accepting their appreciation award. Special thanks to Gary Patterson for returning to the Key West Poker Run Village. He brought an incredible Liberty coach to put on display. The girls visited pretty much all of the sponsor locations throughout the village, but they finish off these shots at the Mercury Racing booth and, of course, with Mark Fisher from Boats Direct USA and OffLeaseOnly.com. Thanks, girls. Saturday morning in Key West, a little overcast and a little breezy, but that actually took the edge off as far as the heat, and it was a beautiful fall day in Key West as the Key West Poker Run Village began to come to life. Of course, it's a non-racing day as far as the Superboat Championship, so that means a lot of the race fans are looking for something to do, and that's why the Poker Run Village is such a good fit. There's Louisa, Courtney, uh, Jackie, and Tracy, and all the models helping out with apparel sales. And these ladies are here to help because we don't want to box this stuff up and take it home. Another additional feature that we have this year is uh, Jerry and Madeline, our photo and printing team here under the tent. So you can take home souvenir images from the event, all logoed up of your boat. And we put a tremendous effort into this, so we hope you're able to check out the table and take something home from the event. Meanwhile, Blackwater and Deep Impact here on display, Boats Direct USA. Thanks again for coming back to support this event with these beautiful luxury center consoles. Lots of uh, commercial air traffic here at the Key West Airport Saturday morning about 11 o'clock. The winds have certainly picked up. We had uh, three solid days of light winds, single digit winds and calm seas. Today, already the winds are about 15 to 16 and they're out of the east, which isn't so good. Uh, I'm going to be flying up here with Lewis and uh, Dave as we go up and take a look and see what's going on out there. Looking for some calm water so that we can uh, give you guys a good place to raft up. Unfortunately, I don't think that's going to be on the south side of Key West because right over here, about 200 yards, is where we would be doing that or near Boca Chica. But with the winds out of the east, it's not exactly a pond like we were hoping it would be. But we're going to get up in the helicopter, fly around a little bit and see if maybe over by Sunset Key or one of the areas close to Key West has got a good spot for everybody to hang out for the afternoon. Finding a great raft up spot is a big part of our Saturday program. And as many of you are aware, we've been pretty much banished from the National Refuge, which is Boca Grande, only because so many boats go out there and it's a little bit of a pressure on the ecosystem, they say. So, hey, it's time for us to look for another place. We just buzzed by here at the Key West Harbor Yacht Club just to check out who's here and pick up a few boats for some aerial photography. But meanwhile, we pretty much combed the shoreline around Key West just to find some safe harborage and a, a calm water for doing some type of a raft up. This is the White Street Pier. We thought that would be an ideal location. Then we went over here to Sunset Key and to look on the backside of the key near the anchorage to see if there was some calm water and some nice sandy bottom where we could throw an anchor raft up and have some fun. Still a little overcast today and certainly a little breezy, so these locations were very, very limited on this particular Saturday. So it was difficult to get really the ideal spot for everybody to hang out and furthermore to communicate that. 
There's Bob Berg and his big program. It's a 97-foot Hargrave. The program, uh, they're not out on the deck, but I know he's got some pretty ladies on board, and they're looking for a party, too, hoping that some other people will come and raft up. So let's get back to the main purpose of our aerial flight today, and that's really just to hunt down some more boats and get some more aerial stills and videography for this production. This is Albert Gregorian in his 44-foot Outer Limits. It's a 2008 model. I believe it started out with a pair of Mercury Racing 1075s, but it's got some big supercharged 1200s now. A very, very fast boat. Uh, Albert bought this from Kerry Leon, who is a Canadian member from Vancouver. Jackie and I and the kids visited them in Vancouver, in Kelowna, uh, where we went in the Okanagan Valley and went about 110, 115 miles an hour in this V-bottom. It's very, very fast and very slick. Another Outer Limits, uh, Dan Davies in the One Percenter. It's a 51-foot Outer Limits, really the flagship of the fleet. Uh, you know, Dan is a very avid power boater, former racer. I believe it was a fountain that he raced in Superboat. And uh, so he knows his way around a speedboat. But he's got himself this big machine now, big, heavy, wave-crushing machine. Got his friends on board, pushing the throttles here in Key West Harbor and getting ready for a great run. All the way from Denver, Colorado, Doc Jansen, a uh, big name in offshore racing, about to become a big name now in the poker run circuit. A 53-foot outer limits, full race canopy setup, big Teague monster supercharged motors. But Doc has made the transition from racing over to poker runs. It doesn't look like he's racing today. He's just kind of chilling out. It looks like he's waiting to get in the groove. And I'm not even sure that he knows that the helicopter is here yet because it's kind of hard to see out the sides of those canopies. But uh, Doc Jansen wanted to make sure that we all knew that he was very happy to make this transition. He thought it was an outstanding event. He had a wonderful time with quality professionals. That says a lot about you guys. And uh, Doc Jansen, he just had a great time, period. He did want me to also mention that Brian Forehand at Marker 17 Marine was instrumental in getting the boat ready for the event and uh, will be involved in basically managing the boat for all of the poker run activities that he attends. Thanks, Doc. Nice to have you. And it appears that today will continue to be an Outer Limits Saturday as these conditions are perfect. Uh, just enough wind to build a little bit of a chop as we catch up to Nate and Robin Michelle from Louisiana with this 47-foot Outer Limits GTX. And they have done a stellar conversion on this boat. And the reason I can say that is because I saw the boat uh, before. It was an orange and yellow, multi-different color graphics all together. But it was a little bit of an older boat that they got their hands on and redid completely. There's Michael Pierce in the background. We'll get closer to him in just a minute, but obviously these guys are buddies. Uh, they both got Outer Limits 47s that are pretty much set up to run and run great. And they really, really look after the boats. Uh, this uh, conversion here in the red paint job with the green graphics uh, outlining the Outer Limits, notice the hatch just dying to pop up and rip off. So Nate, I hope you got that under control. But we got a good long shot here because these guys came out where many others didn't. A lot of boats stayed back at the dock today and I want to credit these guys for getting out and running and putting on a good show. Now we're closing in on Michael and Nicole Pierce uh, in their 47-foot Outer Limits GTX called Triple X. This is the original Triple X, uh, completely redone. They opened up the cockpit, uh, tore off the top of the canopy, put some fresh power, a new paint job, and to me, this is a brand new boat. But it still carries the pedigree of a world-class offshore powerboat with a 171 mile per hour record. One of our sponsors, Tommy Hofstetter from Chief Engines, built those motors for Triple X. Let's catch up with him in the Poker Run Village. Big bling and big horsepower. You're all going to find that at Chief Engines, Chief Performance. Uh, Tommy, here at the Poker Run Village, you got yourself some big monster power here. What's this baby all about? I do. This is one of my turbo engines, and it's uh, 1350 on 93, and it's 1740 on 116 octane. 1740 on race fuel. And, of course, we sell the race fuel 
at all of the big poker runs. So that means a guy with this monster motor can put in that C16 and push those throttles forward and rev it up to where? <laughs> It'll turn 7,000. It'll turn 7,000 RPM. What's the uh, cubic inch displacement on an engine this big? They're, they're 557 cubic inch, yeah. and they have my uh, engine management system on it. And uh, they're, you can change the horsepower via key fob. So you just plug it in and, and go, change the fuel and go. Turbocharging remains, uh, I think, uh, the future. It, you know, you, you were one of the original uh, you know, creators of a high performance twin turbo engine. I remember more than 10 years ago, yeah. you came out with one that was 1350 on pump fuel, and here you are doing it today. What's different about today's motor from 10 years ago? Well, I've just been advancing the maps and things like that in order to get more and more power. And uh, other than that, they've really kind of been the same, same thing since 2006, my first ones. And uh, I've been a believer in them sen since then, and uh, it's a great package. I love it, you know. you got a lot of other, uh, obviously, power packages here on the Key West Poker Run. A lot of your customers are here. What's the norm? Obviously, this is a big, you know, $60,000, $70,000 motor, I guess, right? What about a normal, what about an entry-level guy that yeah. just wants some well, good power? Well, we do motors from 500 horse all the way up, you right. know, so uh, ev and everything in between. So, you know, for the guys that have the Bravo drives, you know, kind of hover around no more than 850 horse in that yeah. area, you know. Sure. And uh, so we do supercharged motors, a lot of Whipple stuff, uh, even some carbureted, you know, but mainly fuel injected is our, is, our, is our deal, so. And the shop remains in Fort Lauderdale, but most of your customers are not just from South Florida, they're from all over the country. You can take an engine, if somebody has some repairs to do, they can crate it and ship it to you. You can do the work on the engine and you can send it back to them if you have to. I can, and most of my, uh, most of my uh, let me say this, 5% of my business is South Florida, so most of it is out of the country or, you know, up in, the, you know, Michigan, the Great Lakes area or Texas, uh, California, you know, uh, New England. And of course, we have a lot in uh, overseas. Most sure. of our stuff's overseas, a lot down in the Caribbean. But we have 10,000 square feet there, so sure. we can take the boat and do engine R&R &R, as well as repower, um, you know, dashboards and paint jobs, interiors. So we do it all there. Um, uh, you want to check it out? You want to go to what website? I, uh, ChiefEngines.com. ChiefEngines.com, and you're going to find all that you need to see about Chief and their high-performance products. Thank you, Tommy. Very good. Nice to have you Glad back here be, at Key West. Glad to be here. It's a great event, and I see a lot of new faces, which is really cool, so Absolutely. I really enjoy that. Absolutely. Good yeah. stuff. Thank all you. All right. Very good. I'm sure that we'll see Mike and Nicole back on the Poker Run circuit again soon. Uh, meantime, a quick note about Tommy, that recent interview we just played. He has since relocated to Michigan. Uh, his shop in Fort Lauderdale is now closed, but he's got a new partner. They're doing great business up in Michigan. It's business as usual, just in a new shop. So good news for Tommy as uh, he continues to promote his product across the nation to performance boaters. Catching up now with Wayne Wilkerson from Kentucky. We saw them a little earlier in the show as they were running down through the Florida Keys. Not running very fast today. Certainly this 40 Nortec Roadster with Mercury Racing 1075s is capable of running uh, well into the triple digit speed brackets, but a little bit rough today. It looks like they're just out for a little chill ride and what a perfect day it is for that kind of a ride. Uh, Wayne Wilkerson from Kentucky. Good to have you back, Wayne. We'll see you again on the next one. Well, some of our members like to keep a low profile, but uh, this is Team Shooting Star. It's a 42-foot MTI, uh, and we will leave the owner's name off the record today. But it's a beautiful boat. I love the paint job and the graphics. One of the prettiest MTIs in the club, always running great. Uh, this group has been an avid supporters of the club for many, many years. They've been doing poker runs with us since back in the 90s. Uh, good to see them back here at Key West, and just out, again, for a little bit of a chill ride. It's a little bumpy out here today. And it looks like the captain's just uh, pulling back on the throttles and just taking a little fun run here towards Boca Grande. Now we're catching up with Bo and Tiffany Renfro from Georgia. 
who are enjoying their new skater. Well, at least it was new in August, earlier in the year. We saw them on the Emerald Coast Poker Run and we got our first glimpse of this brand new Skater 368. Bo had some kind words about the event, saying that it was a great event as always, but it was their first time to attend with their very own boat. Looks like Bo's been getting a ride for the previous years. His last boat was a Scarab V-Bottom, which we saw uh, up in Lake Lanier and on the Emerald Coast Poker Run. But again, it's his first cat, and he seems to be loving it. Ready, steady, go! Lyrical style in my flow, yo! Yo, ready! Ready! Lyrical style in my flow, yo! Ready, steady, go! Now let's say hi to Cash Schubert. He's a long way from home in Texas with his 38-foot top gun called Liquid Prozac. Very avid poker run team, Cass and his crew make it all over the country. We see them in Texas, we see them in Biloxi at Smoke and the Sound, and we see them here on Key West year after year. A great running boat with a pair of Mercury Racing 525s, which makes this a very low maintenance poker run boat, you know, relative to the big cats with huge power. Uh, a 525B bottom is really just maintenance free. Put gas in it, service it every 50 hours, and uh, keep it clean and wash the salt water off when you finish using it, and you're gonna have a good boat that's gonna stay with you for a long, long time. Next up is another great poker run boat and a team that came a very, very long way. Kyle Weiss from Oklahoma in Team Split and Tens, a 42-foot fountain. Beautiful boat, loved the paint job, and looks like they're just out cruising, having a nice day here in Key West. Now you're gonna get a look at a rare Eliminator. We don't see too many of these uh, Daytona models. Uh, this is Cliff Anderson and his wife, Melissa, in their 36 Eliminator called Team Paper Chaser. They've become uh, Key West fans. They love coming to Key West now. They started doing events in the Emerald Coast, uh, came down from Texas, and sooner or later we got them excited about coming down to Key West. So they've been coming down now, and now they love Key West. We're gonna get a quick glimpse here of Scott Lyons and his crew all the way from Missouri in this uh, 48-foot MTI called Team Mistress. Uh, sorry, Scott, wish we got you going fast, but we'll take this anyway. Nice shot of that beautiful 48. Look at the giant cockpit with seating for eight. This team's already been introduced earlier in the show, Dave and Don Scotto. Just a quick shot of this big 52 OL. We also saw quite a bit of this boat earlier in the show. Brett Menier from Performance Boat Center in Missouri. A 42-foot cigarette with 1350s. Got a small pack of boats here milling, getting ready to run. Meanwhile, let's just take a quick break, catch up with one of our sponsors, Total Dollar Insurance. We caught up with Arthur Buer at the Miami Boat Show. Miami Boat Show, and uh, we stopped by our friends here at Total Dollar Insurance. And, you know, Arthur Buer III, Art, you have been a great supporter of poker runs and the performance boating sport by carrying these high-performance programs uh, and have been supporting the Florida Power Boat Club. I know that there's been a few changes recently you told me about some of the programs. What's new in the high-performance programs with Total Dollar? Uh, one of the biggest things we've done this year is we've increased our speed cap up to 180 miles an hour for the catamarans. Uh, we'll continue to give the discount for the members of the club, 10% sure. uh, for uh, gold and platinum members. 